boss i'm very unhappy with my raise i'm feeling discouraged undervalued you're forcing me to look out hi boss i'm always the last person out of office how come dinesh who leaves at 5 got a better raise than me hi boss just wanted you to know that i have a job offer from avc company it's good money and i'm considering it clearly none of these lines really work do they but what really does asking for a salary raise is something no one teaches you is something you can't really speak to your colleagues about so how to have this much dreaded but very important conversation with your manager in our last video we had asked all of you for what really you would want us to make the next video on and the maximum comments went on how to ask for raise at work so here the team at money control spoke with several experts to bring you some pro tips in a nutshell so let's dive straight into this video for starters we completely understand why you wanted us to do this video thanks to the pandemic there has been a phase of salary degrowth and stagnation across sectors for 2 years plus we've been dealing with it sectors companies have not given their employees annual appraisals and according to surveys now that are coming out in 2021 about 40% of the employees in india saw reduction in their overall salary 45% of those who were surveyed said there was no change at all in their annual pay unless you worked for IT of course because IT sector saw boom 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 emphasis for example some suggest that give like three times hike in just one year reports of course that are coming out now even if you were in consulting jobs financial management all of these saw great hikes in the workplace but outside of this IT ecosystem people were left feeling overworked undervalued dejected and hence the rise in these pandemic era trends like quiet quitting still don't know quiet quitting just watch this video and then come back right here and of course the other big factor that has led to all of us feeling this way is inflation now while the condition of the job market seems to have started improving a little bit in according to a team lee survey annual salaries are inching closer to the pre covid levels for many people their current salaries are still not at par at what they would have been had covid not played spoil sport and on top of that workload of course is still quite high considering companies are still grappling with how to really work hybrid So now the things are inching back to normal. People want another important part of their work and life to go back to normal and that is their salaries. So in this video, let's understand how to navigate one of the most uncomfortable, nerve-wracking conversations you will probably have at workplace, which is asking for a raise. But before that, remember to like, share, subscribe and press that bell icon. When talking about raise, The first thing that you have to do is ask yourself these three incredibly important questions. First, and it's quite simple really, ask yourself why. Why do you deserve a raise? Have you taken other colleagues' workloads during the pandemic? Have your responsibilities increased? And by the way, I have not got a raise in 2 years or the cost of living has gone up probably isn't an acceptable reason as far as your boss is concerned because it's likely to be the same situation for everybody. Second, do your research and check if you are being paid at parity both internally and externally. That means both inside the organization and as an industry trend. This is important and you need to figure it out. There are different tools for it also available now. You can google it, you can ask your former bosses, you can ask your peers in the same organization if that is not an issue remember hr sometimes says that it is discouraged so be watchful about that but knowing how much people at your level are being paid could be a solid building ground really for you to actually ask for a pay hike in fact you could use some easy salary tools as well available on the internet but note that salaries and wages differ from company to company role to role place to place For example there's a good tool that LinkedIn has where you can go and put in your profile put in the country that you're working in and it will sort of give you an aggregate or a bracket of where your salary should really be falling. You can even check out other tools like Glassdoor and Payscale. Do note that these may not always be entirely accurate at all times. It depends on your exact profile, your responsibilities, your company, but you can still check out there uh, what exactly is the ballpark figure. All right which brings me to number 3 and perhaps an important question for you to answer and in the right mind frame 
are you willing to quit your job or look out if you don't get that raise and clearly as we know blackmailing your company or employer or giving them an ultimatum really doesn't work anywhere it's important for you to set your priorities straight is getting that raise so important that you would look out quit your job if you don't get it the answer to this question to make it easier for you to really go ahead with the process at this point let me also give you a pro tip that we picked up during our research draw up the pros and cons of the company so that you are clear if salary hikes actually tips the scale that is actually phase 1 conversations with self now you can move on to phase 2 Now that you've cleared out and you've decided that you want to take the bull by the horns and have this conversations the next step is preparation. Look, it's going to be tricky conversation and companies and bosses and HRs are used to having these conversations quite often but you probably are not. So to ensure that you aren't caught up unaware at any step it's important to prepare yourself and arm yourself with enough material to make a confident case. So here are five things you should do before you step into that meeting room or press that send button on that email so number 1 make a list of how you have added value to your team or your company in the last one year because this is the strongest argument really you can make have you been doing more projects have you been handling additional responsibilities have your or has your team clogged better sales have you implemented some new strategies in your company have you helped in saving significant costs at your organization basically figure out what is it that you bring to the table on the basis of which you can negotiate it this information is pretty much the glue of your ask it justifies what you are really going for number 2 Make a list of how you can add value to your team or your company in the next year. What are your goals, your insights, your expectations from your job? Number 3, put yourself in your boss's shoes and think, why would he or she want to give you more money? What's in it for them? And then work backwards. Does your company need say for example a position to fill in, a management position that you're willing to take up? Is there any loophole that you can plug in? if you are given a raise do you possess a skill set which is niche and not many people in your team or company have it does your boss want to expand the team's role and is there a place you would fit in that picture think about these take down notes because if you can tie your company's requirements with yours it becomes a win win situation number 4 check the timing of your ask and you know i was reading this very interesting book called fair pay by david buckmaster who's nike's global compensation director by the way and he makes a very interesting point he says asking for a raise at a time of the company's annual appraisal may just be too late you should start these conversations about 3 to 2 months before any scheduled annual reviews because pay increase remember has several stakeholders bosses are involved hr is involved members of the management are involved so if you ask in advance they'll keep your requirements in mind right from the beginning of the appraisal process that's giving you a leg up also in case if your company does not have an annual appraisal process then generally a thumb rule is to go and calculate one year since you got your last pay hike and work backwards about 3 to 4 months before that and have that conversation an exception however to that is if your role and responsibility has changed drastically in which case you could think about maybe asking for a raise sooner but like we discussed before go armed with facts and figures if you decide to do that and the last one number 5 on our list something that actually is the first thing you could try to do before you even get thinking about asking for a raise have a career only conversation at some point with your boss discuss your role your outlook what the company needs where you could fit in and then you'll have a better idea about what the company needs from you which you can build on your draft to make a case a few months later And now that you've done your homework, you've completed phase 1 and phase 2 of the conversation, conversation with self and second of actually jotting down the points that you're going to build your case on, it's time to go ahead and make the big asks. So here goes the five golden rules, the do's and don'ts when you have that conversation with your boss. Rule number 1, what you should do is 
schedule a formal meeting at a time when you know your boss would be less busy than usual maybe observe a day of the week or a time of the day when they are generally more relaxed and ask for a time to speak with them like if you're in the tv industry i wouldn't go to my boss right before prime time after the show and after a good show maybe that works don't get frustrated one day and barge into their rooms you'll only frustrate them as well rule number 2 be confident present all the information you've collected about your work and your worth and present your case as politely as possible like you could tell your boss that you know over the last one year my roles have expanded and it now includes responsibilities of a former co-worker and i appreciate how much i've learned due to this opportunity i would really like to discuss adjusting my compensation to reflect that in my current responsibilities as well don't demand for any immediate pay hike and threaten to quit if you don't get it be open to a full fledged flexible discussion don't overwhelm your employer or push them into a corner you should sound like we are all on the same team rule number 3 back your pitch with data and numbers that is why i said check if you are being paid at par with the colleagues check what your boss really wants out of your team check what value you bring to the table don't present your case as an opinion I think I should be paid more isn't really a valid argument if you don't have facts to support your case it's only going to go nowhere rule number 4 speak clearly openly honestly about what you need and what you think you're worth bosses are humans too after all and they can sense the vibe don't go in unprepared or sound unsure about what you're really asking for because as i said before companies are used to having these conversations you are not so ensure that you go in well prepared otherwise getting that hike may be difficult there will always be a budget constraints economic situations and other reasons that the company could actually come up with so you should have a clear ready retort in place Rule number 5 ask if there is something more you can do to add your value in the organization bosses love to hear that don't however let your ego get in the way and just keep demanding things be open to any feedback and discussion on your role being expanded So I hope this video answered most of your queries about asking for a pay hike fun fact over here Do you know according to a study by Payscale only about 36 37% of people end up asking for a pay hike women ask lesser than men anyways so obviously it's a tough conversation but hopefully this video will help you draft your ask in a better manner and if you deserve if you think you deserve it go in well prepared and go for it and of course as always keep uh, writing to us with all your comments any other things that you want us to touch upon in the job sector we'll be happy to research all of those things for you talk to all the experts so you get everything in a nutshell that's it from us bye for now